Hey hey my dear pirates, you are on channel, Straw Hats One Piece Theories. And in today's video we're going to talk about Luffy's ultimate form at the end of One Piece. Now that we are reaching the end of the journey of Luffy and his friends, the moment is finally near when we will see what will be Luffy's limits and final powers, after all, as well as in all shounen anime, the protagonist, in this case the Luffy, will have to show us his full power and final form. But how will this be done? What will Luffy's powers and final form be? Well, we are going to analyze all this in today's video. So if you want to be a pirate king like me and achieve eternal glory, go ahead and press the like button with all the power of your devil fruit, and if you're new here my dear sailor, already subscribe to the channel and don't forget to activate the notifications bell so you don't miss any new video, okay? Then join this crew that will dominate the entire Grand Line and the New World. Now without further ado let's get to this epic video. And well my dear pirate, after it was confirmed the true name and type of Luffy's Devil Fruit and that its Gear 5 brought back a divine being to surface inside Luffy's body, a question that kept hammering in my mind was the following, okay, what will Luffy's ultimate powers and transformations look like at the end of One Piece now that he has the powers of a deity? Well. To find the answer to that question I thought of several possibilities that ended up becoming videos, and all these possibilities were based on Nika's silhouette, the information brought by Oda in Road to Laugh Tale Volume 3 and theories about Joy Boy. Speaking first of Nika's silhouette, we saw how this mythological being was shown to us as someone who sought to free the slaves, was seen as a god and brought with him a spear and a sword, I see this as an allusion by Oda to the sacred scriptures of the Bible about the justice of God, but anyway, this only proves that Luffy can not only take the form of Nika but also carry a spear and a sword. Even if many people do not like the idea of a Luffy swordsman as I have theorized in other videos. Going to the Road to Laugh Tale Volume 3 information, we see how it is Luffy's imagination that will limit his powers, giving Luffy an almost limitless capability of what he can and cannot do. And about Joy Boy's theories we have the possibility of a giant Luffy who could raise his rubber powers to mold huge areas, since everything leads us to believe that Joy Boy was possibly a giant because of the giant hat and Mary Geos and various other factors like he possibly was the second liberator of peoples after Nika. All these videos will be on the pin cards and in the description so that you can analyze each one individually, okay? But anyway, the point I wanted to make is that Luffy's power and final form being based entirely on the power of his fruit would be a huge turnaround since it's been confirmed that the power form that can really do anything is hockey. Hockey is the ultimate power within the One Piece universe. I like the idea that Luffy has one last training arc so he can push his will to the max and thus use the power of his hockey the way Shanks or Roger did, but with the focus of Luffy's powers being given to the powers from your Fruta, I believe something really special is about to happen. We've recently seen the Gorosei and Im Sama transform into something that appears to be animalistic, it could be that their powers are from devil fruits of the mythical Zoan type just like Luffy's and this gives them the power to transform into mythological beings and deities of the past. I believe that was why Oda changed Luffy's fruit type, he knew he would need something that was just as awesome to be able to match the power of hockey. And the answer might have been the power of god devil fruits and absurdly powerful mythological beings. I'm still going to bring a video approaching this whole idea in a better way, but for now what I can say is that Luffy's final form will surprise us. So, for me the definitive form of Luffy based only on his devil fruit would literally be a mixture of the three points that I mentioned earlier, the power of giants since probably the Zoan type fruits bring out the will and powers of his ancestors, the power to shape reality from their imagination, both things we saw in the fight against Kaido, Luffy changed his physical form that of the enemy and the environment in addition to having become a giant with lightning in his hands. And of course, and the power to create things from himself, as we saw against Rob Lucci when Luffy created a pair of glasses from his hair, that would be Nika's legitimate power perhaps. Swords, spears and maybe even a hammer, coming from Luffy I imagine that, then the joke that Luffy has Toon Force would come true. This for me would be the ultimate way of Luffy using the full potential of his devil fruit. But now I want to know your opinion about everything we commented here today. Do you believe that Luffy will have one last form, a gear 6 at the end of One Piece? Could it be that Luffy's ultimate powers are based completely on his devil fruit? 
But of course, if you made it this far it's because you like the content, so it doesn't hurt to subscribe to our channel and become one more member of our fleet, my dear sailor. And of course, do not forget to press the like button that helps a lot in spreading the video and the channel, so help us to become the largest fleet of pirates here on YouTube, okay? A big hug for everyone. And until the next video.